hello 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 viewers all over the world you are welcome once again to today's special message this is bishop apostle kezia salungu zambia africa um today i want to bring you a special message that i've entitled becoming a man or a woman of influence from the book of joshua chapter 6 verses 11 to 18 joshua chapter 6 verses 11 i mean sorry uh, judges chapter 6 verse 11 to 18 and uh, this is what the Bible says. This is what the Bible says. The call of Gideon. Now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the Tabernith at the Ophrat, which belonged to Josh and Berezite, where his son Gideon was beating out wheat in the wine press to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, mighty man of valor. And Gideon said to him, Please, sir, if the Lord is with us, why then all these this happened to us and where are all his wonderful deeds that our fathers recorded to us saying did not the lord bring us up from egypt but now the lord has forsaken us and given us into the hand of midianites and the lord turned to him and said go in this might of yours and save Israel from the hand of Midians. And do not I send you, and behold, my clan is the weakest in the Manassin. And uh, I said to him, But I will be with you, and you shall strike the Midianites as one man. And the Lord said to him, If now I have found favor, in your eyes then show me a sign that is you who speak with me please do not depart from here until i come to you and bring out my present and set it before you and she said i will stay till you return praise the lord um from this from the text that I've just read, as I said, I want to share with you on the message entitled Becoming a Man or a Woman of Influence. Um, to become a man and a woman of influence in life is not something easy. Uh, there are principles that need to be put in place. Now, number one, let us look at the life of Gideon. Let's get an example of the capacity of Gideon for influence. Gideon had the capacity for influence because of the following, and we use these things as our example. During the days of Gideon, Gideon was living in the times of lockdown, where he was surrounded by soldiers, where he was surrounded by enemies, and the movements were very much restricted. Businesses were so much restricted. Everything was down. But Gideon was still positive in all that he wanted to do 
So, to be a man and a woman of influence, you need to have the capacity for the influence. Number one, like Gideon, you need hard working with commitment for influence. Gideon was a hard working man and he was a committed man for his services regardless of the challenges he was encountering in life. Number two, good relationship with God for influence. You can never make an impact in life without your creator. Remember, you did not bring yourself in this earth. You do not have the capacity of your own. God is your strength to make impact in life. Without impact in life, no influence. No man can make an influence in life if he has no impact to impact others for the best. So, God must be with you for the influence. Thirdly, be of great works to make impact with influence. Gideon had greater works. Gideon demonstrated his works and with commitments to achieve his goal. And uh, because his focus, God was in favor with him. With all the humility that Gideon had, God looked down in favor to him. Gideon was a very simple man. As we have heard from the text, Gideon was a very simple man. He was coming from a poor family. He was coming from a, a, a very small family, very small clan. He was coming from a despised clan, despised family. Him also was very despised, being that he was very poor and things were not working out. But still, he was very positive, knowing that uh, God was, will come to answer his prayer someday. And truly, uh, Gideon's expectations were met. So, for you to make an impact in life, you need to move with God stick to god be with god all the time do not lose your focus from god show your great works number four to be a man and a woman of influence in life you need to understand that uh, people of influence may encounter challenges situations and oppositions now, these situations come to assess your capacity to stand with your vision towards impact. Situations come to strengthen you, your desire for God and for your goal in life. Um, situations may be allowed by God not for the bad purpose, God may allow certain situations as a platform for your preparation for the best level to come. Situations come to strengthen us. As in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 28, the Bible says, All things work for the good to those that love God. So, with a time as you continue standing, in those situations, regardless of what you are going through, God comes into your life to lift you up for another level in life. Number five, for you to be a man or a woman of influence in life, remember, the enemy may cast situations that may demoralize your capacity or your zeal or your strength. You need to avoid loneliness or feeling low emotionally and spiritually. The devil uses emotional injuries, emotional injuries and loneliness. Once a person is lonely in life 
and is beginning to feel low, very low emotionally and spiritually, uh, you discover it to be very difficult to implement the intended goal in life. Prayer also becomes difficult. Uh, concentration becomes difficult. Some services also will be affected because of feeling emotionally and spiritually low. So you need to put yourself together. Make sure uh, you work hard putting yourself together. By all means, put your minds together. Be well organized in your life towards your vision. Your vision is very important. The situation that you may be going through today is not very much important, but your vision and your uh, your ending is very, very important. You may suffer today, but as if you continue standing on your vision, if you continue standing uh, on, your, on what you intend to do, the Lord will come forth for you and he will lift you. So put yourself together. Now, I want to let you know, people of God, wherever you may be, if you've been desiring to be a man and a woman of influence in life, you want to become a man of great impact in life, you want to become a great example to others, you want to become a message to others, you need to understand that people without impact they do not have influence to others. It is the kind of the impact that you have in life that will change others. It is the kind of the impact that you have in life that will influence others. The greatest message in life is your daily living with impact influencing others for the best. Your, the greatest message in life is your daily living with impact influencing others for the best. Make sure your daily living is full of impact so that uh, those impacts that you have in your daily living will be able to inspire others. And uh, with the impacts that you have in your daily living, some people will be influenced because of your impact. If you don't have an impact in life, you'll never influence anybody in life. You'll never attract anybody without impact. Good impact, good influence. Bad impact, bad influence. So here I am interested on the good influence, not bad influence. Because bad influence leads to uh, destruction. So leadership and life is all about influence, especially good influence impacting in others for the best they can be. Leadership and life is all about influence, especially good influence impacting in others for the best they can be. So be a man and a woman of influence, more especially a good influence. Otherwise, all of you listeners, all of you my viewers, I love you wherever you are. If you need to make impact in life, use these principles that I've just shared with you and remain focused. Right now, I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my viewers. Bless them wherever they are watching me. Touch them. I know there is someone there with greater impact. There is someone there with greater vision. But situations and uh, oppositions are bringing him down. But I pray, Almighty God, the Lord strengthen such a one who is low spiritually and physically. Let him never lose focus in life. Tears come in the night, but joy comes in the day. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, touch your people and encourage them. In the name of Jesus, I declare more grace upon your life. As you remain focused, I declare more of God's mercies, more of God's favor upon your life, upon all what you do. 
may you achieve under God's grace in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. See you.